people still look down on you if you don't go to college straight out of high school. But I was just like, this is what I need to do forever. So I moved here. We always knew Elise can sing, but the first time we actually watched her singing in front of like 200 people, it was at her uh, elementary school. My music teacher wanted me to sing at the back to school night for my school. I was really nervous because I'd never like performed anything solo before. And people were just outside hanging out and as soon as Elise opened her mouth, they rushed into the theater. And at the end, people were actually taking photos and autographs because they're like, you know what, one day you're going to make it, so I need to keep this. It was really like a breaking moment in my life where I was like, this is what I want to do. This is what I love. Hi. Hey, Elise. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? My name's Chris Seafried. I'm a songwriter, record producer. Oh, wow. Hi, nice to meet you. Likewise. Do you know that your friend Talia had submitted you for a show called Uncharted? No, I didn't know that. It's a, it's a music show. So they submitted your music and Honda had gotten in touch with me and we talked about it and we thought it would be a great idea if we got together with you and recorded a single. Oh my gosh. Did that really happen? Yeah, that really, ha that, that really just happened. Oh my gosh, it's that's amazing! Like that. <laughs> what? We were hoping maybe we could start tomorrow. I freaked out. I've always wanted to go to LA and sing in a studio and just all those things that you grow up dreaming about. Chris is just such an established producer and I want to hold myself to the same standard as the artist he's worked with before me. So I just got to really bring my A game and hopefully cut a great song. Yeah, I love, I love your huge voice. Thank you. Wow. She's well beyond her years as a singer. She's got a great voice. She's a great singer. So I was excited about that. I was like, wow, this is going to be great. I think she's super brave. To leave home at 16 years old and say, man, I want to be a singer. I want to go make it. Yeah, she's brave to do that. And you need to be. On this table, we were all having dinner. Elise dropped the bomb saying, guys, I want to move to LA. I want to pursue my music career and I'm graduating high school early. I could have stayed and had my four years and then I was planning on going to college after that, but I just didn't want to wait another two years of high school and then four years of college and then try to go after my goal. I really wanted it to be my decision and not cloud my mind with what other people had to say about it. I do have concerns, but I can't be a hypocrite. I was in this country by myself at 15 and had a job at 16 and was on my own too. A big part of the reason my mom supports me so much is because she moved from Iraq to America and kind of paved her way. So I think she's basically letting me do what her parents let her do. We don't have to do things the way everybody knows. Sometimes people are out of the box and Elise is out of the box. Let's see how we feel about this. Um, all this I couldn't do if not for you. I think if not, do jump phrase this, if not for, you know? Oh, yeah. So the idea is we'll talk to your choral teacher, have him write. Oh, my choir? Yeah. From Monta Vista and like go to, to Monta Vista and like. Or, you know, after we've got the tune set, oh my send gosh. him the stems and have him record on the track. Oh, now I'm so happy. And then you come in. <laughs> I 
I'm definitely nervous to go to the village because it's crazy how talented they all are. Like, I just don't want to seem like the weak link. So cool. It's like the place where the, the pilot sits in the airplane. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try to be up to your standard, but I'm definitely nervous. And Johnny, right verse. I think that's where Johnny will probably come in. Yeah, straight into verse. But the dynamic comes down, right? Yeah. A lot can go wrong. It's like every step has to go to the right person and go the right way. Yeah, yeah. we'll just listen, we'll roll it, we just use your instincts and then we'll start talking Okay, I'm gonna it. switch snares out then. Should I just start? Or... Let's do it. Don't you break down over, over again. At least just remember like with the demo, come in soft and ramp up as the tune does. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, I went kind of flat. Can I try that last one over again? It's like a B chorus. Different melody here. Don't you stay up waiting through the night. Everything is gonna be alright. You know, at the end, it's gonna be like a choir with you, and I think you should just be like rejoicing, even though we're saying break down. Okay, cool. Got this. Bridge one more time. Don't you stay Elise didn't say much about working with Chris or the song that they're working on together. You know, we couldn't just take this lyric that she presented to us. It needed some kind of point of view that was more than just dream big. It's basically about me leaving home and growing up, but at the same time, it's directed toward my mom. So there's definitely some sadness to it, but I'm leaving home to live my dream. and do what I love and it's me telling her how thankful I am for her not only supporting me like helping me thrive I didn't let you ever hear the song even though you bugged me about it a lot <laughs> because it's dedicated to you and it's about you don't you break down over over This has honestly been such a cool experience and I'm really excited to get the single recorded and out there. I think it's gonna be amazing and this has definitely been a dream come true. Don't you break down over again. I can't believe I made you cry. I love you, baby. Love I love you, it's such a beautiful song. Aww. Do you know an uncharted musician whose music deserves to be shared with the world? Email artists at whoisuncharted 